What's up everybody, Jackie Terry. Once again, we're gonna hop right into this. And the main concept I got is we will all like to be in pictures with celebrities. So what I'm gonna do is essentially place my cousin in a picture with Samuel L. Jackson. And this picture has some really good clarity on it. And we're going to just see how it turns out. We're just going to go for it. Kind of idea I thought of out the blue. I was just going through my pictures and I seen this picture. And I figured we could we can combine it with a celebrity. So let's get right to it. So what I'm going to do is kind of pick through the best picture. We'll just go ahead and put all these in Photoshop because... um. We want the best picture that's going to coincide with my cousin's pick. So we're just going to put all of these in Photoshop so we can go through them and see which one fits the most. That's really good as well. Um, We'll use this for the final one. Okay, perfect. We'll go to our photo bin. And we'll see which one looks the best. And how which picture of Samuel L. Jackson will coincide with this pick. I'm really thinking this one right here. Because they both have kind of like some wow, some kind of wide smiles. They both look very happy. Hmm. However, this one is pretty good too. One thing about doing combining the images and doing this Photoshop thing is, um, Kind of go, got to go through multiple pictures and look and see what exactly you want to do. Hmm. You know what? I think I might go with this. Oh wow, I totally messed up. Let me see. I think I might just go with these two. Let's just see how it turns out. This shouldn't be a problem right here since the background is already white. Shouldn't be a problem deleting deleting it at all. So as you see, since the background is already white. And Samuel L. Jackson is already deleted. The background is already deleted. So, hey, now we can pretty much resize it. Which, let me see. I'll drag them over more to the right. It's perfect. Essentially, put my cousin right here. Let's see. Let's see if we could drag this up. And more than likely, um, spread this image out just a tad. To kind of combine the images together. Perfect. Okay, okay. 
Okay, not bad, not bad. Go ahead and click the check mark. As you see, it's not too bad. However, with this pick, I have, however, do want a different background. So let's see if we can take the magic eraser tool. Well, first we'll combine the images together to make it one image, to make it one layer. Let's see if we can take this magic eraser tool and delete the background. Because you gotta realize, you guys, there's not that much background to delete. Maybe we could get them both behind like a portrait background. I think that would work. Once again, we'll zoom in on this so we can really get between the kinks. So we're going to zoom in so we could get between these really hard to reach places between the cheekbones, between the head. You want that background to be fully transparent. See if we could zoom out just a little bit. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna raise it up. So when you're doing this, don't be afraid to zoom in and really get between the kinks. That's what the background eraser is for. It's for to delete the whole entire background so you want to make sure you get the whole entire background so that looks really good the background is essentially deleted and uh, let's go ahead and crop this image as well as you see half of his hat is missing we definitely don't want that so we're gonna go ahead and crop this image just a little bit, not too much, because it's already a good size. I'm going to crop it just a little bit. Drag it over just like that. Bring it down. Let's bring it up just a tad. Perfect. Looks really, really good. So now, since we got our two subjects together, once again, we're going to create a new layer so we can add another layer on top of this, add another background. So once again, just go to Merge Visible. And now, essentially, they're ready to be behind any background. So once again, let's put them behind... Let's see. Let's put these guys behind maybe a black background. Give it a kind of a portrait feeling. Perfect. So with our back background selected, all we simply have to do is drag this up top. Let's see if we can widen this out just a tad. There we go. And you can always spread out the picture to fit the background, you guys. Oh, yeah. It looks, <laughs> it looks really good. I like that. 
Looks like they're both really having a good time. Not bad. There's still little defects that we could clean up. As you see, you could kind of see shades of the other background. Not really, not really noticeable, but it's always good to kind of just clean up all the defects. So we're just gonna take this eraser tool. gonna up the size just a little bit Ooh, wow matter of fact we'll take this clone stamp tool simply kind of clean up that grassy part yeah kind of just slightly clean it it's not really a big deal but you always want to go around your edges. Kind of clean up his hat a little bit too. Once again, I'm using that clone stamp tool to clone different parts of the image. Okay, perfect. Look at that. Looks really, really good. Now let's just see um, how much detail we can put in this pick since it's all ready to go. The pick is finished. Once again, we'll save it. Always good to save your finished version of the work. So when you do go back and edit it, you'll already have the finished version. The finished version is always the best version because you can go back to it and tweak it. So let's see what we got here. See if we could bring out a little bit more detail, a little bit more depth in their faces. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Not bad, not bad. Bring out the shadows just a tad. Oh, just a tad. Don't want to overdo it. And for this picture, I definitely want to make this black and white. So I want to do. Go to black and white effect. Well, hmm. Well, maybe not actually black and white. See, that's the thing with Photoshop. Um, you never know. You literally um, have to play around with these pictures. Do different type of effects to get the right effect you want. Um, that's, that's somewhat better, but... Definitely want to keep playing with it. See if we can add a zoom burst effect to it. Um, we'll add focus. We'll add some type of focus around the faces. Almost to give it that kind of give it that motion feel to it. Mm. Not bad. Definitely an image I would have to play with. It looks good so far, but at the same time, you know, as an artist, as a graphic designer, I still feel like it's missing something. So let's let's just go to our gallery. We 
there's so many different ways that you can bring out your picture. Right now, I added a little bit of uh, action, accent edges to give it that sense of a painting, which is good. We'll add a little bit of smoothness to it to give it more of that painting feel. It's perfect. Let's just see. Sometimes in order to create a really good picture, you have to essentially go through the filters and really experiment with all your filters, not just one of them. Experiment. See what works best for you. Hmm. Let's see. So now I think we might add a little bit more depth and feel. We we'll have focus, especially especially on the eyes and the mouth to the point where. It's almost identical to a portrait shot. The main focus is on the eyes and the mouth. As you see, just adding that depth and field kind of took the defects away from the picture to give it more of a realistic feel. And right now, to get the full extent, I'm just adding focus near the mouth. Near the mouth and the eyes and the nose to give it more of that um, realistic feel. And everything else will be essentially sort of out of focus. It's more on the mouth and the eyes. Because both of them have really really great smiles okay perfect looks really good this might be it this might be the finishing touch let's see if we can add a low camo effect oh yeah not bad not not bad we can apply a vintage type of setting really bring that bring really bring out the shadows and more of a darkened feel to it and that's pretty much it you guys picture looks good I decided not to turn it into black and white I really like the colors I really like the eyes and the both of the Facial expressions really looks good. It, it almost tells a story, you know, tells a story. So it almost looks like if my cousin and Samuel L. Jackson were in the same spot at the same time. So we're going to go in and save this. Very, very great picture. Once again, you always want to save your work. Okay, now there you have it. You have Samuel L. Jackson and my cousin Carlton in the same picture. Once again, it didn't take very long. Main concept is deleting the backgrounds and then essentially combining the images. And most of all, working with the filters in Photoshop. That's the main key, knowing what filters to apply 
to a picture that that's really going to bring it out. Each filter is different. So you might have to work around the kinks just a little bit to get the right settings in on the picture. You might have to work around the kinks, but once you do essentially get the settings and the filters you want in the picture, it's worth it because it will it will turn out great. It will turn out something like this and really, really great picture. I, I like it personally. It looks really good. Both of them have some really great smells and it tells a story. Once again, it's Jackie Terry and believe me with Photoshop, you can <laughs> combine yourself. You can make yourself meet anybody you can meet anybody in the world with photoshop because everybody in the world essentially has a picture so why not you know put your picture in with them you know why not do it and have it look good 